All right, welcome back to the channel, and yes, in my time of absence, I did watch Spider-Man Far From Home, and it was pretty good. I, I can't even lie. It was a really good, like, summer slash Spider-Man movie. That's what they were going for, and I feel like they achieved it perfectly. I cannot complain with this movie, and I gotta admit, I didn't really care what they did with Mysterio, and I mean... I know a lot of people said they really want Mysterio to be an evil trickster like he is in the comics. Personally, I think it would have been cool just to change it up and have him be a good guy. But once you watch the movie, you understand that it wouldn't work the way they had it set up. Which, the way they set it up in the movie, I'm fine with. I mean, the elementals acted as like a false enemy. Kind of like a mini boss and the main boss. Even though they actually weren't even a boss to begin with. But... Anyway, it, it works. Like, it works in this movie. And I personally liked Mysterio. I did not. Like, he has a charisma to him. Like, Jake Gyllenhaal, I don't know how, but this man, like, has mastered charisma. Like, I don't even know how, which is fucking cool. But, uh, this... Uh, let me think here real quick. What's, uh... What's the word I'm looking for for this? Like, it, like, this movie knows how to weave in and out of, uh, Spider-Man and Peter Parker's lives. Like, it, like, they're intertangled. I mean, obviously, since they're the same person, it's gonna be tangled up together. But they really, they really drive home how his choices affect both sides of his life. And that's gonna be constant through the rest of his life. I mean... In the first movie, you don't really see that he's just a kid. He gets out of school. He goes out and becomes Spider-Man. He just helps people out. He's just a kid. He's trying to become an Avenger. And then once he becomes an Avenger, he dies in the snap. Comes back. Just wants to go on vacation. And now Nick Fury, or aka, spoiler alert, Scroll Tobias... It, he's trying to like hound him to become an, like to become the top dog like one of the main Avengers and Peter's just like I want to go on vacation I just want to ask a girl out I like and yeah that's pretty much what he wants to do in this movie and this theme is probably going to pop up even more with Spider-Man I'm not too sure but we'll have to see how they tackle this idea in the other MCU movies. They probably won't. In Spider-Man 3, they might. I'd say it would... It's gonna pop up, but it ain't gonna be like a main story device like it is now. Because Tony's gone, and he was the main two... One of the main two Avengers. Him and Cap were the main two. And now that they're both gone, well, technically one's dead and the other one's old new Avengers has to step up now and Spider-Man was made for the role as you can see in some of the scenes in the movie and yeah it it really really is a good movie just to go out and watch even if you're not an MCU fan go out and watch it just get your toes wet with the MCU I feel like Spider-Man is a very like friendly non-MCU movie I personally started with the um with Civil War. That's the movie that got me into the MCU. But uh uh yeah. Just get your feet wet with this one and just enjoy it cuz it's a good summertime movie too. It's just he's on vacation. He's trying to enjoy his life as a kid. There's stuff in there that's relatable too like Asking the person you like out and they, there's a possibility of them rejecting you. We've all been there. We've all done that. There's a part in the movie that's like a subtle one. But I just related to this because this just happened to me within the past year. You go out somewhere and you get like you think the hotel is going to be nice. You get there and it's just awful. The most awful hotel. It wasn't as bad as the one in Spider-Man. But it was a pretty bad hotel, <laughs> the one I went to. So I kind of related to that, too, and I thought that was funny. But, uh, yeah, I want to just dive into the um, mid credit scene and post credit scene real quick. And then I want to just wrap up my review from there. Uh, pretty much, uh, Spider-Man gets his, 
uh, identity reveal from Mysterio post death, I get if he's actually dead. And yeah, and then we see the reveal of Jane Jonah Jameson that's J.K. Simmons, which was really cool. I don't think a lot of people in my theater realized who it was, but yeah. And then you find out that Nick Fury and Maria Hill are actually scrolls, which I want to just leave that there for you guys. And I'm going to wrap up the review there, so I'll catch y'all later.